All right, I'm back with the 4F200 with the Turbo Ace 352 motor, uh, this time with the 18 tooth pinion, like one, one tooth up on it, uh, with a stock, uh, not, you know, from the stock size with a custom ordered pinion. Um, seems to be working out pretty well so far. I'm just gonna bind it up and go for a flight. Uh, at the house, I did a test with my phone app tachometer, which some people say is pretty accurate, but I have my doubts. But it was uh, just under 4,000, I think. Right, right, right there under 4,000 RPMs. Mm, let me get this. There we go. Here we go. This is the first actual flight. Let um, me adjust that cam just a little bit here. Well, the first actual flight with this motor with the 18 tooth pinion. Um, see how it holds up to the 17 tooth. Oh, kicked the tail pretty hard there. That's full stick punch out. Um, Feels pretty good actually, I can't complain. Uh, pretty close to the stock motor. Yep, feels pretty close to the stock motor now, it's just much quieter. I think maybe 19 tooth wouldn't be so bad either. Might just give it a little bit more. And the motor seems to be able to handle it pretty well. And the stock motor is probably still a little bit punchier. Like that's a real word. Yeah, I like it. I think I'm going to leave it in. Feels real nice. And it strains a little bit. Yeah, I'll definitely fly, you know, at least 10 packs or so on it and then switch back to the brand new stock motor and compare it to that one instead of my old beat up stock motor. But I, you know, overall it's pretty good. I think one more tooth could be done, and it might still have the torque to hold it, but um, this is pretty good too. I might order a 19 tooth and see how that goes, just to do it. Definitely flying nice. I can't, the 19, you know, 19 tooth might be a bit much, but uh, I'm gonna do it anyway just to see. You know, I think I get a longer flight time with this motor. I'm not sure. Even as the battery's getting lower, it's still punching pretty good. I'm going 
tail's kicking a little bit now. This is the power we got. Three point. Uh, battery's about dead. Uh, total is 7.3 volts on the pack right now, so it's definitely time to land. Let's see where the uh, alarm goes off. Yeah, I'm not really losing the tail too much on a full punch out, but when I do the pitch pumps, it kicks a little bit. And it drifts a little bit there as it strains. It's pretty good though. Can't can't do much better, um, you know, with just the stock setup. You know, uh, at, well, it's not true either. I've got you know stock servos, but it's a Hobby Wing speed controller, so who knows? That might have some some bearing on the motor's abilities too. closer and check the battery. 7.3 still. I got yeah, it'll go off in a second. I just saw one cell at 6 3.61 volts, so there we go. Find it, unplug it. Yeah. Oh, what a pain. And the uh, power set uh, jumps up to 3.7 something uh, per cell. I ran it a little low, but I like to go about 3.8, and uh, it's a little low, but it, at, you can just see how low it, the battery actually did get, and uh, it still had some good power. So. Turbo is 352 with an 18 or 19 tooth pinion. Um, I'll say eight, definitely the 18 tooth is definitely viable. So we'll go with that for now. And uh, like I said, I'll switch it out with the stock motor. And then when I get the 19 tooth, we'll see how that does too. All right, thanks for watching.